What I have here is a three horsepower Briggs and Stratton side shaft engine that I got at a junkyard. And what's interesting about this engine is it has this gear reduction on the side. And it basically slows down the speed of the crankshaft. And I've never removed one. It looks like you have to take the whole thing apart to get it off, drain the oil and all that. So I think we're going to do that. Unfortunately, this engine was left out in the rain for a couple of years <clears throat> with the spark plug out. So it filled up with water and it's locked up. I can't get it to, uh, to pull. But I think there may be some salvageable parts on it. Uh, like I'm hoping this gear reduction still works because that's kind of a, a cool part to have. And I also like the chrome air filter covers. Uh, this one's been sitting out in the rain, but it still hasn't rusted yet. They're pretty tough. I looked in the gas tank and surprisingly it's not rusted either. So uh, I think the gas tank will be a keeper on this. But I bet you the rest of the inside of the engine's looking pretty bad. So for today's adventures, I'm going to be using this as much as possible. See how easy that is? Three bolts and this comes off. Looks like it's missing the bolt on that side. There we go. No mouse nests, that's good. Let's go to this uh, the other side here and see if we can get this gear reduction off. So you can see the sticker it says this is where you fill it and this is how you check it. You fill it up till it starts draining out of this hole. Hopefully it's not going to be all watery in here. Well, nothing's coming out of there. That's not a good sign. It's a 7 16 socket here. Now we start the tap, tap, tap. All right, my camera died, my battery died, I'm not sure when, but uh, I took out this bolt and no oil came out, which that's the drain bolt uh, and the check bolt. Took out all the bolts and uh, we're stuck on here now, so I'm trying to get this cover off. And there's really not a, a tap point. So I have a putty scraper here and uh, I'm just going to kind of go around and very carefully see if I can create any space. Oh, looks like I can find a lip right there. I'm going to be careful doing that. I also sprayed a little bit of lube on the shaft here to try and, that's an oil seal right there. It needs to slip over the shaft. But boy, that thing's on there pretty good. You don't want to jam the putty, the scraper too far down in there uh, because you can damage the gasket surface and then it'll always leak on you. So you just kind of have to See if you can tap it through, create a little space. I think I am creating a little bit of space, but I need to go around on the side here, see if I can do it. Yeah, okay, it's starting to ease up a little now. Still not getting any oil coming out of this thing. That's not a good sign. go. Just got to be careful. Don't rush it. 
Oh, now we're getting some water dripping out, it looks like. Yep, that's water. Not good. So I'm just going to work it around. Keep close. So I've never taken one of these off, so I don't know if anything is going to jump out at me. Man, that's a lot of water. All right, it looks like the shaft is actually part of the cover here. There's a little bit of oil. Well, at least there was some oil in there. You can see that's oil. So I finally had my carpal tunnel surgery on my hand. So you guys won't see me wearing braces anymore, hopefully. Took a long time. Wasn't able to work on stuff for a long time, so I couldn't make any videos. But uh, this year, 2022, it's January. I plan on making a lot of videos this year, so I hope you guys watch. Okay, let's see what we have in here. I hope nothing jumps out. Okay. I can see the gasket in there. All right. So that's what we have. A fine tooth gear set up. It's pretty dark here in the garage. Hopefully you guys can see it. And I don't see a lot of rust. Just a little on the edge of this drum here. So that's good. And that's what we have on the inside. Looks like the crankshaft that comes off of this engine. Yeah, it's a drive shaft. It's a geared shaft. That's a different kind of crankshaft. And then you have your brass bushing here. But it looks like with two... And it looks like it's held on with two bolts. Got my half inch socket here. Oh, those are on there tight. And my cheater bar. Make the job easy. Tech tip number 6452. Use a cheater bar. You can use anything. Boy does not feel good at all. Feels like I'm gonna break something for sure. Oh boy! Hope those aren't opposite. Son of a gun! Those might be opposite threads. Well, I'm gonna bust them off if they are. Oh! Let's see if this will work now. Yeah, finally. Man, those suckers are tight in there. Alright, doesn't look like I broke anything yet. Now back to tap, tap, tap. Aha. Looks like we have two more bolts down here holding it on. Oh, looks like it just wants to come off now. Nice. So that's the setup. And you can see that's a pretty unique crankshaft on this particular style of engine. So the engine and the gear reduction, or like a mated pair, came from rigs like that. 